So how's it going guys? Fly here back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video, except this time it's not on the Xbox One and it's not on the Xbox 360, it's on the PC. Now this is my first video recorded on the PC version of GTA 5 and so far I'm loving it. It's great fun and overall I definitely recommend you guys picking it up. But this video is actually going to focus more so on the new self radio station which is a new feature implemented into the PC version which previously wasn't on the 360, the PS3 or the Xbox One or PS4. This is a brand new feature where you can actually build your own playlists and stuff and have them directly integrated into the game and have your own proper radio station just for your custom tracks. So it's very, very simple to do. So if you'd like to see how it's done, be sure to drop a like down below for this first GTA 5 PC video. Now let's get into it. So to do this is actually very simple. All you're going to want to do if you are on Windows, and this does of course work on Mac too, you just have to use the finder bar. But assuming most of you are on Windows, you need to go down to the start button in the bottom left. Even if you're on Windows 8, you can use the search feature there. Type Rockstar, or uh, you can get it by about Rock, and see what the answers are there. And then click the folder that reads Rockstar Games. From there, click the subfolder called GTA V. Here you'll find four folders and two files. And you're going to want to click on the User Music folder. And now here, all you have to do is copy and paste in or drag and drop in any of the songs that you have saved on your hard drive or anywhere throughout your PC and just drag and drop them into this folder and that's very very simple for this out of game part and then the final steps to doing this are next going to take place in the Grand Theft Auto 5 story mode. This last bit is also very simple, what you're going to want to do is just bring up the options menu, go over to settings, then to audio, and when you find the radio station tab you're going to want to click through to the left or to the right until you find the radio that's called self radio. This is going to select or activate the self radio station in your game now, and then finally you want to go to the next option just underneath it called self radio mode, and choose one of the three options. These three options are radio, sequential, or random. So what this is going to do is radio is going to give it the, your radio station It's going to have the normal theme of a standard radio in-game, where it's going to have just the talk from the commentators and stuff like that. It's just going to have little advertisements through it, and it's going to sound very much like it's a real one made by Rockstar. Sequential is going to be every song one after the other in order. This could actually come in handy for things like audiobooks or any things that come in a more orderly thing, where it's maybe it's not so much music, but like I said, audiobooks or just other talks that you maybe want to listen to in game or finally you can put it on random so that your songs just play in a random order throughout all of them and just go one after the other in just one long loop. It should be noted that you can't start the self radio station without at least four tracks in the user music folder but that's pretty much all the constraints there are to it. And that's pretty much it for this first Grand Theft Auto 5 video, guys. I'm going to have a video rather soon talking about my plans for GTA 5, how I'm planning to use it on the PC, because I'm not going to completely transition over to PC quite yet um, as for my standard videos that I do most days. I'm not going to quite focus on that quite yet because all my friends are still on the Xbox One, but I'm going to go a bit more into detail on that, the plans that I have going forwards. And in that video, I'm also going to talk about how I'm going to be able to kind of play with you guys if you guys are getting this on PC or even on the Xbox One, and how we're just going to be able to have some fun times with me and my friends, and also with you great subscribers. And that is pretty much it for this video, though. Be sure to drop a like if this did help out in any way, shape, or form, or you are very hyped for the new release of GTA 5 on the PC. Subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon. And finally, follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description down below. If you follow me there, you can get behind the scenes kind of updates and small exclusive things that don't always get uploaded to this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.